This is the Sega Mega Drive with the suspected faulty graphics. You get a picture, scrambled picture, um, but the sound's okay. So we're going to swap over the RAM and we're going to see if we can fix it. The two chips that we need to replace. I think we'll heat them up with a hot air gun. To see if we can pull them out. I think it's probably worth reflowing those and testing the console again. And two. Let's get those pads cleaned up. There's an awful lot of solder on these pads, so I'm going to try and speed it up with a solder sucker. So that's all the holes clear of solder using a combination of the solder sucker and the solder wick. I found the solder wick to be better but you do use quite a bit of it. So we've got pin one on the board there and we've got a little dimple on the chip to tell you that's pin one and that just slots nicely into there and the second one is the same you just slot in nicely and we'll solder them up from the other side. I've just put a dab of solder just to keep them in place. And they look okay from the other side. They haven't fell back out. I'll put that underneath the microscope and I'll solder them all up. That's them all soldered up. Covered in flux, but we'll test it. And then if it's working, we'll give it a good clean. First test, new video RAM. Switching on. There you go, beautiful. Fantastic. And that's brought that back to life. So I'm really pleased with that. I'm going to give it a good clean up, get all the flux off. I'm going to put all the screws back in the right place, all back together. You can kind of see the LED. LEDs on there. Game is playing, demos playing on the screen. So that's a good fix. So if you enjoyed that, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. If you've got any questions, leave a question. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.